If you look at riba, for example, it's one of the only sins. In fact, it's the only sin mentioned in the Quran in a certain way. You know, if you look at adultery and, and that, Allah says, don't go close to it and so on. And Allah speaks of forgiveness and so on. But when it comes to eating of interest and usury, Allah says, whoever is not going to abstain from this, I announce war against that person. There's no other sin where Allah says, I announce war. And the scholars say the reason is you're stealing the money of someone else. You're making the poor poorer and you're making the rich richer at the expense of the poor. So whenever I see a rich man becoming rich, I ask myself, how did they make their money? If they made their money on poor people, that money is not always pure money. It depends what they've done. So uh, Islam teaches you to be considerate of people when buying and selling and trading and so on. People are poor. Please consider the fact that these are poor people. Don't rip them off and don't make a killing out of them. Uh, be, go, go easy on them and Allah will bless you with a, with a, with a profit as well as blessings. Because there are two things in wealth. It's the amount and the blessings of it. People sometimes have thousands, no blessings. Where did mm -hmm. it go? I don't know. And sometimes people have just a few uh, dollars or pounds and it's, it's blessed. They do a lot with it. That's what it is.